Is it gas or petrol? It seems we might all be wrong. Feel free to call me Mr. Pedantic McPedant, but it's actually petroleum spirit, but even then it's not exactly that straightforward. It seems the term petroleum can be used to describe both the products that are made from oil and the oil itself. Of course, several products can be refined from petroleum, aviation fuel, diesel and asphalt to name but a few, but it seems the words petrol and gasoline originated as product names and not something that came out of the oil distillation process. Gasoline came before petrol, and it's believed that the term gasoline originated in Dublin, Ireland, not the United States. To understand how, we need to go back to the mid-1800s where we find Manchester-born John Castle hard at work as a publisher and tea merchant. Castle would make several trips over to the United States during the 1850s, and on one of his trips he would secure a supply of a newly discovered strange oil-like substance. Realising this new product's potential as a fuel, he returned to England in 1859 to set up an oil distillation company. Castle set about creating his new product, and like all new products, it needed a name, and he decided on Casoline, having taken inspiration from his surname, and with a patent applied for and approved, he went about selling his new oil-based fuel. Sales went well, and Casoline was finding its way all around the UK and Ireland, but after a while, Castle noticed that sales in Ireland had started to drop significantly. It turned out that Irish shop owner Samuel Boyd was selling his own version of Casoline and taking all the business, and this was something Castle wasn't going to allow. He wrote a furiously worded letter to Boyd explaining that he had a patent and ownership over the term Casoline and that he should stop selling these counterfeit products immediately. Boyd ignored these demands, and the story goes that he simply took a pen to all of the existing Casoline product labels and turned the C's to a G, creating a new product called Gasoline. Annoyingly for Castle, the term gasoline grew in popularity and by 1863 had found its way into the Oxford Dictionary spelled as gasoline. Casoline managed to survive until around 1920, but by this point product sales were low and everyone was calling it gasoline, so the product gasoline just disappeared quietly, never to be seen again. The first record of gasoline being used in the United States came in 1864, but its use in automobiles was still a long way away and it was mainly sold as fuel for lighting. Petrol was also a product that wasn't designed with the car in mind. It was created by Eugene Carlos, who in 1859 set up a mineral oil distillery in Hackneywick, London. In 1870, he'd come up with a brilliant new solvent and he needed a catchy name for it, deciding on petrol because it was derived from petroleum or oil. As mentioned, petrol was created as a solvent, and one of its main uses was in treating head lice, or nits. It turns out the solvent dissolves the natural glues used by the lice to attach themselves to your head so they can't hold on, thus no more nits absolutely minging. However, useful consumer advice, if your child comes home from school with nits, douse them in petrol. Igniting it is optional. In the 1890s, the first automobiles would start to emerge, and Daimler, one of the manufacturers of these first cars, would seek out an agreement with Carlos where he would become the sole supplier of fuel for their launch vehicles. Around this time, other oil distilleries were starting up and offering similar automotive fuel products called petroleum or motor spirit. But wanting to differentiate themselves from these new competitors, Daimler and Carlos decided to use the word petrol to describe their fuel, a continuation of the name that had been invented 20 years before. This would be the first time that the word petrol would be used to describe a fuel going into a car, but it took a bit more time for it to catch on. As we've learned, petrol was a product name, but as the industry grew, when it came to the legal definitions of the fuel that you put into your car, it was recorded as motor spirit, not petrol or gasoline. So, gasoline was a lighting fuel, petrol a cure for head lice, and motor spirit the stuff that you put in your car. So it's motor spirit. Or maybe petroleum spirit. But hold on, why do we call it petrol then? For the first 25 years or so of cars being a thing, Daimler and Carlos would market their fuel as petrol whilst everybody else called it motor spirit. By the late 1920s, having seen car sales increase and in turn fuel sales, they looked to protect their fuel product by registering it as a trademark. Unfortunately, this was denied. Because the word petrol had been in use for so long, it was considered a descriptive word and not something that they could claim ownership over. Petrol had been in use in one way, shape or form since the 1870s. It's why Google would rather you search for it on their search engine as opposed to Googling it. If the term becomes widely used, you lose your right to ownership, and that's exactly what happened to Daimler and Carlos. The result was other companies starting to use the word petrol to describe their fuel products. In 1926, Shell began a marketing campaign advertising Shell Petrol, with other companies soon following their lead, and the term petrol has been used to describe motor spirit ever since. To conclude then, both petrol and gasoline were born out of product names. They were not scientific definitions or legal terms, they were just words created to suit a marketing campaign or a situation at a particular time. So we're all wrong. Thanks for watching.